Hey there, friends. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Almost forgot what day it was there. Um, happy Wednesday to you. I hope that all of you are doing great. I have been working like a crazy person. And I, um, I've been doing a lot of administrative work for my art business, and I have been doing a lot of work for our farm. Our farm opened, it's not my farm, I just say our because I'm one of the employees. Um, farm opens in May, we've got three festivals coming up, so lots and lots of, of uh, work there going on. Uh, our first crop is strawberries, and we have pick your own strawberries. We have school groups coming in, and that kind of thing. And it is, uh, it's just a whole lot of work to kind of get everything all set for a new season, but it's work that I'm really, really grateful for. I am chosen to do some art and so i thought that i would just sit here and put a little piece together from um scraps that i have just kind of been sticking together with a paper clip here and just let me show you what what i'm doing and um then i've got some news and i will um tell you guys about that and put links in the description box below and that kind of thing Anyway, um, I got some ultra cool stickers the other day, um, in, um, a, a happy mail that someone sent to me and it had this really neat, um, packaging here. And I thought, well, you know, um, that looks like an oversized tag, right? Because it's got the, you know, you've got a pre-made hole up there and everything like that. So I thought, well, you know, I might use that for a base for a little art project. I was sitting downstairs uh, clipping through a magazine and I did say clipping instead of flipping um, because I was clipping out a few images that I really did like. Not very many. Um... And I think that's important, y'all. When you're clipping images, um, make sure that it is something that you are really gravitating to, that it's something that you feel like you'll use. I think a lot of times we, you know, we'll, we'll um, gosh, uh, we have too much stuff. And because we, you know, if, if we sit down with a magazine and we clip and we clip and we clip and then we've got a stack of stuff, you know, an inch high, then to me that's intimidating. I would rather sit with the magazine and clip out a few things that I think I will use rather than intimidate and aggravate myself with a whole stack of stuff that I, well, I'll organize, right? But, you know, even that takes up time. I am really into streamlining everything lately. Um, everything's got to be streamlined. Um, but I just feel like it's, uh, for me, for me, for me, it's better to not get overwhelmed with stuff. And so I keep everything to a truly bare basic minimum. Uh, that said, I clipped out a few things from the magazine, and then I saw a few articles, and I clipped those for my mom. So I was done with the magazine, you know, in five or ten minutes. Um, I also got this in the mail in one of my credit card statements, and um, I also clipped this from some some junk mail as well. So I thought, well, we'll just put all this together and we'll do it on like a big size tag. I put together some of my 1880 ledger books today. So I did have this scrappy bit of ledger paper and I love it because it was, well, it was torn, you know, that's a whole story there. And it did look like it, um, something had been spilled on it as well. So, you know, another story there. I love paper stories. You know, you see, and I've taught, I've talked about this before. You, you see a book, and you see a corner turned down, and that speaks a lot. Uh, you know, to me, that says the reader had to stop. The reader wanted to stop. The reader was sleepy. The reader's child wasn't well. Um, the reader's patient woke up. That kind of thing. Um, there's always a reader story in any kind, kind of paper. So we are just going to kind of. Just get started on this 
big tag and see what we can do. I think the first thing that I want to do is, um, I mean, I definitely want to use this and I think I'll use it. Uh, hmm. I started to say I'm going to use it as a background, but yeah, yeah, that's okay. I'll use it as a background. I have an idea for a quote for this as well. So let's just get that background on here. I'm using my big daddy brush. My daddy gave this to me about three years ago, right after he had what we think now is might have had a stroke. Um, and I'm just using some homemade Mod Podge, y'all. I, I, I am out of the out of the good stuff, and I'm trying to um, trying to get some online. I use a Bing search engine, and it gives me points, and I can redeem the points for Amazon cards, Amazon gift cards. So that's kind of what I'm up to with that. But I do like using the homemade Mod Podge. It's just fine. I do like using the real stuff on things that are going in my Etsy shop or in, um, I am an artist at a retail store now. And I just think that's fun. <laughs> it really is fun. Okay. We'll put this one down here. It is torn, but we're going to put stuff on top of that. It's okie dokie. All right, I think I'm going to go with the Soul Chain Austin piece that says Pride and Prejudice. And it is, it's like a um, play. So I'm, I'm just going to whack that out. And probably also going to get rid of, I'm going to go ahead and just do that like that. I'm not going to cut anything. My digits are screaming at me of late. I even wake up in the night and they're saying, hey, too much cutting. <laughs> I'm going to do a lot of tearing. <laughs> I thought that was a, a, a really neat image here. It had some color to it. I liked it. Um, Let's see, like that. Um, <laughs> well, you know what? Um, this is kind of having some gravity to it. Um, with the Pride and Prejudice thing. With this, you know, pensive woman looking off into the distance. We might use this, but I'm not sure yet. I did uh, also clip a little bit of uh, color. And we know that we like our color blocks. Um, all right, I think this is what I'll do. I think I'll put this here. And I am kind of leaving an edge over here, you know, kind of a, but I don't, I don't know if I'll keep that. I, I kind of dig the oversized tag thing. I think it's kind of fun to work this way. You know, we have the pensive Elizabeth Bennet. I love this because um, she is staring at the shore. I mean, staring at the ocean. I realized I have not been to the ocean in, wow, three years. It's been way too long. I also really do like the um, X marks the spot here. So I think I'm going to put that... Right there. X marks the treasure spot. And the treasure spot being the ocean and trying to get there. Um, I'm kind of wondering if I want to use that or if I want to use the word exceptional. Hmm. I think I will. I, I think I will use the word exceptional. 
kind of on a, um, it was on an envelope. Okay, I do like that. Just add a little bit over here. I need to tell you guys something. I have launched a Kickstarter. Uh, Kickstarter is a way for people to contribute to your business on like a one-time basis. I know that some of you are not comfortable with um, Patreon. Um, so it's a way for you to contribute, um, you know, some monetary funding to moi as I continue to um, craft my little crafty business. I'll put a link in the description box below. All right, I like the way that's turning out. Now I'm thinking, hmm, nah. That's a little um, not, not um, serious enough. She's very whimsical. See, very whimsy. Um, and I don't think I'm going to use that either. Um, I did this little mixed media piece on the Courtship of Miles Standish, 1903. We did have water damage on that book, but I was able to cover a lot of the water damage. I wanted to demonstrate to you guys the quality of the paper that was in that 1903 book. Um, if you missed my... If you missed my video about about the courtship of Miles Standish, I did it just in the past week, so you can mm, probably past few days. I love this Jane Davenport face, and I may, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of uh, I'm able. I was able to paint, you know, on that on this paper. Uh, do um do uh, molding paste and everything on it. It really was super cool. Well, I put that little strip there, but now I don't think I'm going to use that. There we go. I like it. Oh, man. That's good. Good, good, good to do some art. There's there's so much more to, to being an, an artist than just the art you know if you're trying to do this as a business then there's always a lot of what do you think mm -hmm. yeah I'm gonna have to get just cover up that blue it's all right it's all right we're gonna do some more things to this one there we go so Kickstarter um I have a goal to raise X amount in 30 days. So, you know, if you're so inclined, you can help me out with that. I would so much appreciate it. Oh, I like that. That little strip of blue really worked right there. <laughs> that looks cool, doesn't it? I like it. I like the way her face is cut off and you can't, you can not quite see it. Adds a little bit of mystery, doesn't it, when you can't quite see the whole thing. Okay. All right. I, um, I've got a few little scraps here that I'm going to get rid of. And then I think what I would like to do is mix up just a little bit of molding paste. I'm very lucky that a friend bought this for me and sent it to me. I love molding paste, and I have been using a, um, a Jenny Belly um, DIY molding paste, and there's nothing wrong with that. It, it's just, it is not the real thing. And man, oh man, you know, I really do like the real thing. Um, I'm very fortunate that my friend sent me some. I am going to... Maybe use some flowers here. Maybe. I thought maybe stars, but I th 
think I'm going to stick with some flowers. Uh, so what we're going to do is we've got a little uh, styrofoam palette here. Of course, that's an egg carton. And I'm going to clean the top off here. We're going to squirt a bit. And I am really running out of this. There it is. A little molding paste right here. I'm going to grab a little mix and stick. And again, this was a gift from a friend. This is Gamboge Hue. Gamboge Hue. Uh, the yellow. I am liking yellow these days. I've got beautiful daffodils in my yard. It's so lovely to have wild flowers. I've got a uh, queen of the Nile. Um, they have not bloomed yet, but I must have every kind of daffodil known to me and the, uh, the gentleman who used to live here. This is known as the Morris Leak House. Um, it sounds super historical, but anyway, um, he just, he was retired and he worked in the yard all the time and man, oh man, he just made some beautiful, beautiful things. Um, I just realized that I think my card is not going to fit down in my, uh, egg carton palette. So I just trimmed that up a little bit. I think I'm going to have to trim it up just a wee more. There we go now we can put it in there and I think that I will just like do some flowers over here still don't think I quite got the card small enough um, okay let's start right here just press that through Got to be careful. I don't want to, to get anything on the um, on the lady sitting watching the ocean. That's me. I got to get there, y'all. It's my lifeblood. All right. Let's pick this up. Let's see. I did a good job. I don't usually do a very good job at this. <laughs> and I'm such a great stenciler. That worked out pretty good. All right. Now, I'm gonna... Uh, okay. Let's go with that. I'm going to have yellow paint on my shirt. Like that's never happened before. I still don't have that quite. As small as I need it. I don't want to put that down. Arg. I'm just going to use my finger for a minute. There we go. All right, that's fine. Got to lift this up. Yeah, it's coming along. I hmm. I think I am. Um. Hmm. What do you think? I think that's enough. I really want to put a star on it, but I almost think that's enough. Um, I think what I'll do is, um, I think I will take just a little bit of the yellow paint and do like a very light uh, stencil. The, this is the first time I've ever used the um, the uh, uh, a makeup sponge. 
find out what that's called. Yeah. And I think what I'll do is um, just kind of put a few dots over here. Mm, but that's yellow. All right. I'm going to do it anyway. Just a, just a few. Maybe a guard there. I still got yellow right here. Let's see if I can lift any of that. Yeah, now she looks like she has blonde hair. Okay, that's all right. I kind of, hmm. All right. Okay. I do not have my heat tool out. So I think we'll just stop right there. And um, I also did not like bring anything to clean up with. <laughs> up here um thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to make an oversized tag out of some packaging your packaging magazine images a little bit of stenciling a little bit of smooshing with my fingers and there we have it we do not well we did not put um we did not put the words on here and i have i have an idea for that so I'm going to set this off to the side right here, and then I'm going to grab a Sharpie. I read this the other day, and I thought it was just extraordinary. It's exactly the way I feel. It said... Calm is a super power. All right, I don't know if I want that in cursive or not. So let's do it in just my usual scribble the scrabble -dee. Calm is a super power. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> it's so the truth. Calm is a superpower. And I kind of think that, I think the printed, um, the little printed one's going to probably win out. I'm going to try them both. See which one I like the best. See if I can hear you guys helping me make a decision. Calm is a superpower. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Let me just cut this up. There we go. All right, and then to make that stand out a little bit, I am just going to hit it with my, gosh, I love markers. I mean, I love a Sharpie marker. If I were on a deserted island, I would need a Sharpie marker to survive, just to survive. This is Bren Brown. I may be wrong about that. Calm 
is a superpower. And since I have such sticky, sticky I made Mod Podge going on here. I'm just going to Mod Podge these down. <laughs> it kind of goes along with Elizabeth Bennett, doesn't it? You know, she had to always remain calm. Like a proper lady. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the smaller brush. Sorry, I keep bumping that because I have to stand up to make sure that I'm in frame. Sorry about that. I don't have the fancy, fanciness. Some people do. Good for them. I don't always, I think that's important. I'm happy for people when they got the good stuff. Be happy for the success of others. That's that's something a superhero would say, right? <laughs> oh, okay. I think we'll put it right here. None of this is dry, so it's a hot mess. Okay, guys. That's it. I am done. Thank you for hanging out with me to make an oversized tag. I will be doing a lot more art videos because I got the Art Jones going on. Thank you all. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. My Kickstarter link is below in the description box. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.